We have been lied to. Well, isn't that a piece of news? Hello, YouTube. Welcome back to another video. Um, not a regular video this time. I'm not going through all the news from the day. I'm going to make another video later, probably doing that kind of stuff. I just saw this when I woke up and I had to just make a video right now because this is insane. Now, I'm sure as we all know, the last couple days we have seen the crypto markets crash down almost 20%, dropping almost 40 billion from the market cap as a result of the news that Goldman Sachs was abolishing plans for their crypto trading desk and a lot of people shorting Bitcoin in what looked like market manipulation. And now, just two days later, it turns out they're not actually abolishing plans to do their crypto trading desk. They are actually launching it. So let us just read through this article on Cointelegraph. The link will, of course, be in the description. Goldman Sachs CFO recent reports about crypto trading desk are fake news. Goldman Sachs chief financial officer Martin Chavez, Chavez I'm, I'm bad with names, said that recent reports about the company abandoning its plan to open a cryptocurrency trading desk are fake news, CNBC reported September 6th. Wow. At the TechCrunch Disrupt conference in San Francisco, he reportedly said that reports about the company's intentions for a crypto trading desk were unfounded. He said, I never thought I would hear myself use this term, but I really have to describe that news as fake news. Rumors that Goldman Sachs were planning to establish a crypto-focused unit by the end of 2018 were initially reported by Bloomberg in December last year. However, on September 5th, Business Insider reported that unnamed sources said the firm is scrapping crypto trading desk plans due to an unclear regulatory environment in the crypto industry. He suggested that the excitement over a potential trading desk may have been premature. CNBC quotes him saying, when we talked about exploring digital assets, it was going to be exploration that would be evolving over time. Maybe someone who was thinking about our activities here got very excited that we would be making markets as principal and physical Bitcoin. And as they got into it, they realized part of that evolution, but it's not here yet. While Goldman has been clearing and providing liquidity for Bitcoin linked futures contracts from the CBOE and CME, he said there needs to be a reliable custody solution before the bank can proceed with physical Bitcoin. He stated, Physical Bitcoin is something tremendously interesting and tremendously challenging. From the perspective of custody, we don't yet see an institutional great custodial solution for Bitcoin. We're interested in having that exist and it's a long road. He noted that the company is working on a type of Bitcoin derivative, non-deliverable forwards, which are over-the-counter derivatives settled in US dollars. The reference price is reportedly the Bitcoin US dollar price established by a group of exchanges. The price of Bitcoin and other digital currencies plummeted following the news about Goldman Sachs cancelling plans for the trading desk, with total market cap dropping by 12 billion in an hour. All of the top 100 coins experienced losses over the last 24 hours, um, actually all of them except for Ripple. Bitcoin is trading around $6,479, having lost more than 6% on the day. At press time, total market cap was around 206 billion. Now. We already see markets bouncing back because yesterday market cap was actually down to, I believe, 202 billion. Now we're at almost 207 billion. We see everything back in the green. Yesterday in the evening when I made a video, that was just about 12 hours ago, Ripple XRP was the only coin in the green. Now pretty much everything is back in the green. Everything is recovering. We see the markets reacting to this news. But let's talk about this. First of all, this article here. The price of the currency plummeted following the news. They actually started plummeting just before these news were announced, which is how we know that there was insider trading of some kind going on. Somebody knew this news was going to be announced and somebody shorted Bitcoin right before it happened. And now two days later, they had enough time to rebuy Bitcoin or altcoins at a lower price and now the prices are going back up. Now, we don't know if someone at Goldman Sachs or if maybe even the company themselves did this, but someone was manipulating the markets here and this is confirmation. Now, finding out that this was fake news is complete confirmation because they are now announcing this as a means to raise the prices back up again. This is crazy. Someone leaked the news announced the fake news 
that this was abolished, that this was canceled, dropped the prices, then they had a day or so to buy at these lower prices, and now they're announcing, oh no, that's not actually the case, and raising the prices back up. This is textbook manipulation. This is a big company playing around with the crypto markets. And um, I don't want to say this is Goldman Sachs doing because we don't know who leaked the information. It might have been, it might have been some random person who just decided they wanted to play around with the markets. And Goldman Sachs might genuinely be surprised that this news got out, and uh, and they might really be dealing with fake news here that they have to uh, that they have to comment on. But someone was manipulating the prices, and this is just so so obvious. I mean, these shorts for millions of dollars in Bitcoin. These shorts happened just before this news was out. And um, this news was out with Business Insider. So um, while this was an unnamed anonymous source, we know Business Insider are a proper publication with long history of reporting on business on finance. They don't just let anyone leak information to them. They vetted this source and they made sure this source, while we don't know who it is, they know who it is. They know that it's an actual insider because otherwise they wouldn't be reporting on it. So we know someone who has legitimate inside knowledge, either someone working at Goldman Sachs or someone with some kind of ties to Goldman Sachs leaked to Business Insider that they are scrapping crypto trading. Now, once again, this doesn't prove that Goldman Sachs themselves are manipulating the markets but somebody with some kind of relation to Goldman Sachs is. And there is really no doubt about that anymore at this point. Not now after they announced that this was uh, fake news and uh, this was definitely announced just to crash the market down. And we don't know who announced it. We don't know if this was um, Goldman Sachs corporate strategy or if this was uh, like a rogue, a rogue person at Goldman Sachs who leaked this information for their own personal gain. But we know there's some shady shit going on here. And uh, I hope there's an investigation into this. Because there is definitely both insider trading and market manipulation going on. There is no way that is not the case. We know the facts here. We know somebody shorted millions of Bitcoin. And just after they did that, Someone leaked to Business Insider that Goldman Sachs was scrapping trip crypto trading. We know the prices crashed down. We know they stayed down for two days. And we know only then, only two days later, they could have instantly announced it was fake news, but they waited. They waited enough time for someone to buy up crypto at these no lo now lower prices. And then they revealed this was fake news. Someone is manipulating the markets and someone is using insider information to trade. And I am sick of this bullshit. I hope, I hope, I hope the American government launches an investigation into this. I don't know how exactly the legal situation for that is. I have a feeling if people at Goldman Sachs were doing this, they know how to stay in the gray zone where it could be construed as being legal. But I hope there's an angle at which this can be investigated because they are playing around with the entire crypto market. They are putting the entire market into a negative light by showing its volatility by fucking with it like this. And this is just complete nonsense. But um, that is where I'm going to end this video for now. And at the positive outlook that we do see everything going back up now, well, except Ethereum is down 0.07%. But in general, the markets are shooting back up. And I'm sure once Americans are awake in a couple hours, we will see more of that. Maybe it can return to normalcy now. Maybe we can maybe we can get back on track for what looked like a potential bull market before all this bullshit happened. But yeah, I'm going to end this video here. What do you guys think? Do you think this is Goldman Sachs? Do you think this is a this is an individual who just abused the potential? We know it's someone associated with Goldman Sachs in some way because because Business Insider vets its sources. Business Insider doesn't just let anyone leak information to them. You have to prove to them that you're actually an insider of some kind. So this, this, wasn't, this wasn't just a random anonymous person writing them an email saying that, uh, that uh, this is going to happen. Like we know someone on the inside, whether with Goldman Sachs or just in the financial world, 
was leaking fake information here to manipulate the price and had shorted Bitcoin just before. Manipulation and insider trading, we know that happened. The only question is who. And yeah, I'm gonna end this video here. Um, I'll see you guys soon. And uh, I just hit 100 subscribers. Thank you so much. I just started this channel, I think like 22, 23 days ago. I thought it would take me like three, four, five months to get to this point. Already there. Thanks so much. And I will see you guys soon.